in today's video I'm going to show you how to integrate best minimap with your project okay so let's start uh, drag out the scene capture 2d and set the Z value to do something high uh, you just gonna make sure the uh, the scene capture is above all of your assets on a map such as you know buildings uh, okay and set the projection type to our graphic set the or width to something something high uh, you just gotta find the number that works for you so it's actually depends on your map uh, on the size of your map okay and capture source select this option and assigned assign the already minimap to texture target oh and I forgot uh, set the Y rotation to minus 90 degrees okay and go to textures uh, folder okay and uh, right click on a render target and create static texture all right and we can delete this in capture uh, but remember this number or write it down uh, we're gonna use it later okay so that's 9,000 in this case okay and you can open the minimap texture uh, you can export that to I don't know uh, Photoshop and draw on top of it uh, if you want to create maybe um, Grand Theft Auto type map or or maybe you know some kind of you know racing type minimap uh, but we're gonna use that default uh, texture okay uh, so what we need to do here is we need to change the x-axis tiling method to clamp and also for the y-axis it's in the texture uh, tab and you need to uh, you need to show advanced options okay so it's right here you set these to clamp okay uh, now let's go to inputs and you gotta add inputs to your uh, input mappings um, so I added a few inputs so you need to add, uh, add a waypoint remove waypoint and zoom and set the correct uh, maybe not correct but uh, the inputs that you want to use okay uh, so that's it I now go to widgets and open HUD and now it's time to assign the texture to the minimap okay so assign the texture right here and the world map okay and set the dimensions to 9000 it's the number from the scene capture okay so in my case it is uh, 9000 okay and do the same thing to world map set that to 9000 that's it and maybe add some blips okay add a blip mm, and add some, I will add some test actor all right um and maybe add some some cube maybe okay and add map blip component okay and set the texture to whatever you want but I will use the default texture uh, default uh, icon all right that's 
it you can change the size the color all right and the last thing that we need to do is to actually add uh, the widget to your player character I mean to your screen right so create widget and uh, select HUD get player controller add to viewport okay all right that's done and let's just place the task actor right here and uh, check okay so we have blip on the map we have working uh, meta map um, I think I changed the opacity right here Oh, uh, maybe not oh uh, it's actually in the uh, meta map widget mm, where's that where's that mm. oh right here my mistake um you can say the change the render opacity to some number that you want okay so now we will have Okay, that, okay, but that works, right? All right, the blip is on the map, and also the world map is working properly. I just didn't set the name, so let's name that actor, maybe test actor. Okay, and now we have test actor, as you can see. All right, so um, and if you want to, uh, if you want to add, if you actually have a HUD in your project, then what you need to do is copy all of this and uh, paste that. Actually, paste that in your HUD. Uh, hard widget and add uh, the minimap and world map widgets to your HUD. You know, you can find that in right here. User created, and here's the minimap and world map. Okay, uh, so that works. We can add a waypoint. Uh, and that waypoint will spawn on your level okay so I think that was it for this tutorial um, and as you can see it was pretty fast to integrate and pretty easy so that was it for today's video and if you have any questions you can ask ask them in the comments down below Okay, so thank you guys for watching and see you next time.